Hi guys, I'm Miss Brianna and I'm going to read to you one of my favorite books. It's called Chickens Aren't the Only Ones by Ruth Heller. Chickens lay the eggs you buy, the eggs you boil or fry or die. Or leave alone, you can see what grew inside naturally. Chickens aren't the only ones. Every bird, wild or tame, does the same. The ostrich lays the largest egg. The hummingbird has the smallest egg. Chickens aren't the only ones. Most snakes lay eggs and lizards too, and crocodiles and turtles do, and dinosaurs who are extinct, but they were reptiles too. Frogs and toads and salamanders lay eggs, and when they hatch, they're tadpoles who grow legs and climb a lily pad just like their mom and dad. They don't have claws or scaly skin. They are called amphibians. Fish eggs float up to the surface or sink to the bottom of the ocean floor. This mother seahorse lays her eggs into the father's pouch. He keeps them there until they hatch and then he's through. I think that's nice of him, don't you? These fathers too are helping out by guarding eggs protected by that foamy mass that's floating by and they won't leave until they're sure that all the eggs have hatched. These don't look like eggs to me, but they were laid in the sea. This one by a shark, this one by a ray. It's a mermaid purse, they say. The octopus is said to shed 100,000 eggs and then hang them up in the strings attached to rocks or caves. The moon snail's eggs are mixed with sand to form this collared looking band. Spiders wrap their eggs in sacks, and snails, you know, are very slow. They lay eggs that hatch and grow, and so do insects, who have six legs and lay many different kinds of eggs. This one will hatch into a hungry caterpillar who will grow and grow and grow and grow and then climb a stem and change into this, a chrysalis, and change again once summer morn. That's how a butterfly is born. Animals with fur or hair who nurse their young and don't lay eggs are known as mammals. But these are two exceptions and they both live in Australia, the spiny anteater and the duck-billed platypus. Chickens aren't the only ones. There's more to discuss. Everyone who lays an egg is oviparous. Animals who don't lay eggs have babies born alive and well, but that's another tale to tell. The end. These are some eggs from animals that we have here at the zoo. Um, these bird eggs in this box here um, are all different sizes and shapes and patterns. Um, there's some that are plain white and some that have speckled pattern on them. Those patterns can help camouflage those eggs in the nest so they aren't eaten by other predators. Um, down here we have some reptile eggs. We have some box turtle eggs and some snake eggs. Uh, we also have in our book we learned about the um, largest egg being the ostrich egg. And in here we have some little hummingbird eggs. You can see how tiny they are in that little hummingbird nest. And we have a little representation of some frog eggs. Those frog eggs would be laid in the water and they kind of feel like jello. And when those eggs hatch out, the little tadpole will um, hatch out into the water and then grow into a frog. Thank you guys for joining us on our story today.